Hey everybody, welcome back to Texas 911 Dispatcher. My name is Curtis, and I think I'm going to go a little out of order on my whole scheduling thing and just kind of do kind of an Im impromptu video here. Um, the last three weeks or so, I've been doing a little side gig, and I wanted to kind of touch on it a little bit. I've done a couple shorts on it, and I've done some uh, TikTok videos, but I wanted to do a whole video in here just to kind of go over it a little bit more. So, law enforcement in general does not pay very well. And let me just throw that out there right now. It doesn't pay very well. Um, and that doesn't matter whether it's a officer or a dispatcher or a jailer or whatever. Typically, it doesn't pay all that great. Now, if you work in a big city, the pay itself is going to be better. But the cost of living is also a lot higher. Um, where I live, um, our starting salary for entry level dispatcher with no experience is like 32 or so, 32, five, something like that. So, I mean, while it is a decent wage, like 14 bucks an hour, it's still really not that great. And you really can't live on just that alone. I mean, you have to have a second income or, or uh, a second, uh, your spouse working or something like that, or a second job if, if you are if you are single. So, even with uh, police officers, typically they'll have to do a side gig as well. Police officers have it nice though because they can do off-duty security work, and they get paid really well for that. Uh, typically, a lot better than their average than their regular. Um, than the regular job. Um, when I first started in this career field, um, I had a friend of mine that was a detective, and she had been there for about 15 years. And um, so, I mean, she made fairly decent money as far as the pay scale goes. Um, but she also worked off-duty work. And one year she made like somewhere in the neighborhood of like 50,000 in just off duty work. And she made like 45,000 for her regular job. So it, oftentimes law enforcement personnel, especially the police will have some kind of side gig. As a dispatchers, we don't have those options. We can't do the security guards or the, the, the rallies or, um, directing traffic or security at a church or anything like that. Um, we're very, very limited on what we can do. Um, I think in my 16 years, there's actually been about three opportunities for a dispatcher um, to work in off-duty security. And unfortunately, all three of those were on days that I had to work, so I couldn't take it. So you have to find something else. And typically, that's going to be a second job or a side business or something like that. Well, if you don't want to worry about, you know, maintaining and, and you know, buying product and stuff like that, you don't want really any big uh, cost of investment to get into a business. You know, you have other things, especially now. You know, 10 years ago, the opportunities weren't there like they are now. Um, and with the whole COVID thing that happened or that is happening, um, side gigs have really exploded and one in particular the one that i use is doordash uh, food delivery for people and um, you know you can do uh, walmart delivery for groceries and stuff you can do um, uber eats you can be an uber driver um, you know there's so many opportunities out there for some kind of side gig to get decent income well about three weeks ago i decided to do uh, DoorDash. And DoorDash is, is a pretty neat little app, um, pretty neat little company to work for. Uh, once you start, you get a little DoorDash bag that's insulated on the inside. They send this to you for free. Um, they also send you a, um, a DoorDash credit card type thing. So when you go to like Walgreens or CVS or Walmart or something like that, and you have to actually shop for the food, you pay with through that. So um, but anyways, I've been doing it now for about three weeks and I'm really liking it. Um, it's, it's fairly decent money. Um, this past week I worked for, uh, seven hours 
something six and a half seven hours or so on a Thursday night um, and then I worked about six and a half to seven hours on Saturday night and then like a little hour and a half shift or something like that on Saturday um, no on Friday rather and all together for those three days I made like 325 bucks so I did really well um, all together between me and my wife we made about 450 this week um, and of course that's all before taxes you have to save for your own taxes you have to pay it in uh, come tax time um, so you need to make sure and do that of course we're using our own personal vehicles paying for our own gas everything like that so it's that 500 let's say 500 dollars for easy math is not just pure profit um, we save about um, 30 percent or so of that uh, for taxes for uh, vehicle maintenance and stuff along those lines but if you're wanting to do this i highly suggest you get with a tax professional or a cpa something like that and find out how much you need to save but about 30 percent or so i think is probably a pretty good thing because you have not only do you have to pay income taxes but because you're self-employed and you're going to be getting a 1099 you also have to pay the self-employment taxes which is 15.3 uh, percent so that plus the whatever tax bracket you're in um you know 12 15 percent something like that 10 percent something like that it comes right about 30 percent so 30 percent is probably a good uh savings to do it uh, and then of course you get all the mileage that you can write off as well so you know if you save 30 percent of your gross uh, of what you actually get received from DoorDash uh, and save that come tax time, a big portion of that, you'll probably end up having or not having to pay in, uh, but actually being able to save. So as a hidden savings fee so to, or savings account, so to speak. But there's also things like Uber Eats, there's uh, Instacart, there's, like I said, Walmart food delivery, um, you know, you could even go to like a pizza delivery thing or something like that if you wanted to, or just get a flat side job. Um, but there's so many ways that you can make money on, on the side, um, but you have to be willing to work and you have to be willing to spend time away from your family and, um, you know, get out and do it. Um, you know, that that's the one drawback about it. You know, I worked the 40, you know, 36 hours one week and 48, 46 hours or whatever the next week. And it, it takes time away from the family that I could be spending with them. But if I can do this at night after the kids go to bed or something like that for like four hours, you know, eight to midnight or something like that, uh, or even six to midnight and just give me you know, like three or four hours uh, before bedtime um, and get the, the supper rush, it's going to be even better. Um, I think probably not this coming Friday, but the next Friday, um, I'm going to do a full 12 hour shift for DoorDash and see what I come up with. Um, the most, like I said, the most so far I've gotten is $150 for a six hour shift. So I'm going to go the full 12 and see how much I can get during the day. Um, but I think this would be a really good thing and, it, and it's good if you need the extra money. So there's a bunch of options out there for you to do. Um, just make sure that you look at them really good and, um, save for taxes, save for vehicle maintenance. You're going to put a lot more miles on your vehicle. You're going to be going through a lot more gas than you would otherwise, but you're also going to be making it back. Uh, today I did it after work for about two hours. I made almost $40 and um, that pays for two thirds of a tank of gas. So that right there, I, I went about 70 miles, I think maybe used less than a quarter tank of gas and almost bought me a whole other tank of gas so anyways if you have a side gig or a side job that you do leave a comment below and let me know what y'all do uh, and what, what y'all think about it uh, what y'all think about the job that you have the side gig that you have um, and if you are a self-employed person you actually make something and sell something or something like that leave a link in there uh, as well so that other people that are watching this or other dispatchers are watching this especially if you make dispatch related items can go to and and shop in your store um, anyways, that's all that I have. Please make sure that you like this video if you liked it. Uh, share and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of the videos that I put out. And uh, until next time, y'all, stay safe out there.